tail must be hollow, so there's plenty of room for the counterweight to swing forward and back. This structure is called the camelback, and it fits on top of the tail, or on top of the fuselage. The layers of foam glued together. Speed it up here a bit. After we make the rough cuts with the hot wire tool, we'll sand it down smooth. The reason we have the camelback is actually because we're using a track IR system. It's an infrared tracker that's aimed at the helmet, uh, but we need to block the light from coming in from around the pilot's helmet. That's all this really does, it just blocks the light from uh, behind the simulator. Here it is sanded. And here you can see we're experimenting with a couple of exhaust pipes on the back of the simulator. I was a little worried about the weight of all these uh, different pieces that maybe the added weight would somehow affect the way the controls feel. But that's not the case. It works fine. Now in the shot you might be able to see that we've been using the foam coat on the uh, nose cone of the simulator. Applying the foam coat and then sanding it and applying it some more, trying to get that nose as smooth as possible. <laughs> 